friends and welcome to another video. I am so excited about this one. It was honestly such a lovely and productive weekend and I just know that you're going to love it. But before we get into the video, I want to tell you a bit more about the sponsor of today's video, BBC Select. So BBC Select is a subscription service that you can get through Amazon Prime, Apple TV, or the Roku channel. And through it, you get access to all of BBC's best documentaries. As a kid, I watched a ton of documentaries, sometimes with my grandmother and sometimes as a part of my elementary classes. And because of that, I really associate them with such a nostalgia. Sometimes I'll put one on even when I don't have a lot of time, just while I'm eating or relaxing, because I find them really comforting to have on in the background and they're also really entertaining. The thing I love most about BBC documentaries is how well researched and informative they are. I can still have that entertainment factor of television, but I actually feel like I'm learning something and being educated. I first came into BBC Select looking for a very specific documentary series called A Very British Murder, Lucy Worsley, and it was an absolute delight. Dr. Worsley is so wonderful. She does such a great job. In fact, my outfit today is inspired by her iconic red dress that she wears throughout the series. I don't have a red dress, but I have a red sweater, so. I wore this today inspired by her. I think she's so fun and incredibly well-informed and educational. Also, all of Dr. Worsley's descriptions of these old English outfits really put me in such a creative mood. I ended up trying on some different outfits inspired by kind of old English style, as you'll see, and I had so much fun. It was really fun just using that inspiration from BBC Select as a creative outlet. But after finishing A Very British Murder, which truly was so much fun, I ended up stumbling upon the series Right Around the World with Richard E. Grant, and it was wonderful. I wasn't really expecting to find it or like it so much, but I stumbled upon it and it was so, so good. Mr. Grant is an Oscar-nominated actor and in this series he travels around different cities and cites their descriptions and famousness in literary works from the past and the present. So essentially he's going to these cities but then he's standing in front of this monument and he's reading from a book that this monument was in. It was a great way to educate myself about travel and international cultures, which is something I've been wanting to learn more about for a long time. I'm not a big traveler, so it was really great to learn more about that through his eyes and also get to see that bookworm lens. Both documentaries I watched through BBC Select were so well-rounded and researched, and I could just tell they tried their best to really show every perspective and point of view. And in general, I just found BBC Select to be a lovely service. I really enjoyed having access to their documentaries, and I will definitely continue watching. friends and welcome to a cozy and productive weekend in my life. So it is currently Friday at 6 and I thought I would start the vlog here since, let's be real, the weekend definitely starts on Friday once the workday is over even though I'm a student. Uh, but anyways, I'm about to walk down to Austin's dorm and meet him so that we can walk to dinner together. Every Friday we do date night and sometimes it consists of going to dinner, sometimes we'll do something else like, you know, going to a movie or going bowling. But tonight we decided to try out a local pizza place that came highly recommended by someone. And I think it's gonna be super fun and we'll see where the night takes us after that. It's about to be the third week of the semester, so we both have a lot on our plates that we'd like to get done this weekend, but also a lot of fun things we'd like to do. So we're gonna try and have a productive weekend, but also a cozy and fun weekend, so. That is the story, and let's get to it. Yesterday, there was sun and there was We are currently walking to pick up my car that we parked pretty far away during the weekends, or during the week, and then we move it closer to the dorm on the weekends, so. It's a long walk and it's really cold and it stinks, but we're doing it. <laughs> so we just got back from being out. Um, we did go to dinner, we went to a pizza place new here and it was delicious, but we didn't realize how like thick the pizzas were. Like we got a large circumference of pizza not realizing that the thickness of it would be so great. So we had a lot of leftovers, but we left them in the common area of our dorm. So hopefully some other people can munch because we were totally full. 
and then we walked to get the car as i said and we did get there eventually and we brought it back here and we took it for a little drive so the engine can warm up and now we're back here um austin has a decent amount of work to do and honestly so do i i'm trying to get a youtube video uploaded to go live in the morning so we're just gonna do that for a while about 11 i got my youtube video uploaded and also did an instagram q a which i am really glad i got both of those done it's good progress for tonight i didn't get to planning my photo shooting tomorrow i like to shoot photos every saturday and i like to plan ahead so that i kind of have a game plan haven't done that yet so it'll be a bit of a wild chase in the morning but it'll be what it'll be and yeah i think i'm gonna go to bed because i have hit a wall i am absolutely exhausted so Anyways, good night and I'll see you in the morning. as much this morning because we were out taking photos so every saturday i think i already said this i try to go out and create content to post during the week and this weekend i actually had some content to shoot for a brand campaign that's going live this spring so it's a little more high stress than usual which is why i wasn't filming but if you follow me on instagram you'll see me that go up soon in a couple weeks i'm really happy with how the photos turned out and we also ran some errands while we were out so we went to aldi and target which are just our usual weekend errand places. Aldi is my favorite place to go for groceries just because I think it's really affordable and then Target just for anything I can't get at Aldi. But yeah we stopped by there and I got a good amount of stuff. I'm stocked up for a couple weeks I think and for the rest of today I think I will change into something a little more appropriate. I'm in my clothes from the photo shoot so I'll probably change into some athletic clothes because I'm gonna put away groceries and then probably do a workout. And after that, I will sit down and do some desk work for a while. I have a lot of that to catch up on. And tonight I'm hoping to do some meal prepping of the food that I got today so I can just have it cooked and ready to eat for this week.
you saw, I've just been working away. Um, I'm happy that I managed to consolidate my tasks for the rest of the weekend and get them onto one to-do list so that I can just focus on getting through that. I do have a lot of homework now that I've really looked into it and seen what the individual assignments are, so I will definitely be a busy gal this weekend. But anyways, I had a really productive couple of hours and now I'm heading out to meet Austin and his friends for dinner and that will be fun. I haven't met them yet, so I'm excited to meet them. And yeah, I will just get back and keep working for the evening. I think at some point tonight, I'll do a little bit of meal prep from the groceries I got today and also do some reading. I'm currently reading The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna and it's good so far. I'm conflicted about Kristen Hanna because I read The Nightingale over the summer and I just really did not like it. But then I read The Great Alone and I really liked that. So I feel like she's at a tie right now. So this will be the tiebreaker, we'll see. friends it is sunday as you saw we whipped up a really yummy breakfast this morning we don't usually cook anything that opulent during the week i mean austin's not even here in the mornings during the week but he decided to come over for breakfast today and we made eggs and sausage and some fruit and i had a muffin and he had a piece of toast and it was just delicious i don't know it's nice to treat myself with some yummy breakfast food because breakfast is my favorite meal of the day hands down i love Anyways, then as you saw, we went on a hike. It was super fun. We've been trying to go on a hike most weekends during the semester or some weekends. Um, we'll go home to St. Louis or, you know, school work's just really busy, but when we do go, it's really fun and super refreshing. So I just got back from that. And it's about 1.30 now. I think I'm gonna whip up some lunch and then I have a lot of school work to do today. And I also need to do a bit of cleaning and some work for social media. So I have a really busy rest of my day, but for school, I have a presentation to research and outline for tomorrow, and also a quiz that's due at the end of the day today. And then I have a lot of math homework that's due at the end of the day tomorrow that I'll get started on. So yeah, it's a lot and it will take me most of the day, but I'm hoping I have some time to send off some branded content for approval because I really need to get that sent out. And yeah, maybe even perhaps some time to read, we'll see. But that's my plan for the rest of the day and I really enjoyed the kind of slower morning this morning.
is almost four o'clock now and I've been working for about, when did I start? Two, two and a half hours. I got a lot done. I managed to get my presentation outlined and practiced and I submitted the outline so now I just have to give the presentation in class tomorrow but I don't think it will be too bad. And I also um, did some other like random busy work assignments that are due tomorrow and took a quiz for my econ class. So I've gotten everything out of the way that's due by tonight and now I'm gonna get started on tomorrow's homework which includes a lot of math. So I will just be doing math probably for the next two hours until dinner. two hours and have gotten almost nowhere on the homework. It's pretty frustrating. Um, this is one of those classes where I feel like what you learn in class has absolutely nothing to do with what you're expected to do on the homework. And so it's just kind of unfair because I have to spend hours teaching myself concepts that are on the homework that we never learned in class. Um, so I guess that's just going to be one of those classes this semester. Anyways, I am planning to eat some dinner because I think my brain will benefit from a bit of fuel and then I will just get back to it um, because this is taking me so long. I think I might have a late night, so yay. say that that math section went a lot faster than the last one so it's only about 7 45 now i was able to get it done in a reasonable amount of time thank goodness and that is all the work that i really needed to get done this weekend there's certainly more i'd like to get done and if i have time at the end of the night i definitely will but right now i do have some content creation that really needs to come up next in terms of priority because i have deadlines this week for content getting sent out for approval. So that's what I'm gonna work on now and yeah, we'll see where it takes me after that. the evening. There's definitely tons more that I could have and wanted to get done this weekend, but I'm definitely learning in this season of my life that you're not always going to get everything done you want to, but it's important that you draw the boundaries where you do. So for me, spending time in nature is just so important to me, and that's why I chose to take the couple of hours this morning to go on that hike, even though yes, that could have been spent doing other work. I'm really glad I did that and I know it will improve my mental health in the coming week. So it's kind of a cost assessment, you know, what is worth it and what isn't, but there are things to me that are worth it, like going on a date night with Austin or going on a hike. But of course the balance of that is I did spend most of today working at my desk. So anyways, it's all about finding balance and what's best for you. I think now I will probably get ready for bed and read in bed for a little bit. I haven't done much reading this weekend, but I am about 70 pages into 
The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna, and I think it's really good so far. I'm curious where it goes and what I think. And yeah, I know this probably wasn't the most exciting video ever, but weekends really are my favorite part of the week. I guess they are probably for most people, but even though I still have work and lots of responsibilities, it feels nice to just have kind of the whole day to schedule myself accordingly. And of course, it's nice to be able to spend a little bit more time with Austin than I do during the week. And yeah, I just really enjoy my weekends, so I thought I'd take you along with me on one. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next week. Bye, my friends.